this is the warm episode. So in the past, one of my favorite times to go camping has been the winter time. And part of the reason for that is, well, who doesn't love a good campfire, right? You can't always enjoy those as much as you could in the summertime. They're a lot more fun in the wintertime. Uh, I thought about it recently and I was talking with the family and I told them, I said, because they always say, you enjoy the cold. I said, actually, I enjoy the act of getting warm. You think that through. I like to be cold so that I can enjoy getting warm. Things like being cold going into a hot tub, being cold sitting by an open fire, being cold sitting in front of a fireplace with some hot cocoa and a nice warm blanket. All these things sound fun, right? None of them are fun when it's 105 degrees outside. So we need some cold weather to enjoy these things. And camping is great for that. Now in the past we've done a video on how to cool your tent. That is something that is difficult to do when it's 100 degrees outside. But when it's time to warm your tent, you have a lot more options. So let's go through some of these options. Obviously I can't cover all the options because I don't know them all and I don't have them all. So the funny thing, today it was 41 degrees outside this morning and I thought, 41 degrees, low wind, clear skies. This would be a great day to make this video. It's currently 74. Now, it's nice, the, the breeze feels good, but with the sun, I've been hot and sweaty. So I mentioned getting warm by a campfire, but please, please do not make a campfire inside your tent. That would be a disaster, and that's not what we're after. Now I'm rhyming. Now I need chiming. One of the first things you may go after is a sleeping bag. And you absolutely should. You should have a warm sleeping bag. This is a Coleman zero degree sleeping bag. I'd love to take it out and show it to you. No, I wouldn't. This thing is an absolute pain to roll back up and stuff in this bag. As you can see, it's I can't even fully get it into this bag. This thing is so heavy duty. It will keep you warm. I bought this for Tanya because she likes to be warm and we go out in these cold campouts and she's never actually really slept in this sleeping bag and I'll get to why that is. But you want to look at the ratings on your sleeping bags because mine is a 50 degree bag. I like to be a little cooler. Uh, the girls have 40 degree bags. And I got Tanya a zero degree bag. I think I'm going to go back and get her a 30 degree bag because it will be a better fit for how we do our campouts. So at any rate, if you don't have a lot of the other options, Getting yourself a real low temperature bag like this is a good idea because as it goes through the night when it gets below freezing, it can be really hard to warm back up if you haven't taken some of the precautions to stay warm. So, and this can become a safety issue. Unlike being too hot when you're camping and you don't sleep well, being too cold can be deadly. So make sure that you do take this seriously. So I brought this thing out. Well, this is just a blanket, right? Absolutely. This is just a blanket. This is my camping blanket. Now we kind of do glamping. Some people will frown upon that. Go frown somewhere else. When I set up on my cot, what I do is I have a uh, Thermarest, which I should have brought that out here. Z, yeah. And I put that out on the cot, what I'll do is I take this king size blanket and I put it across the bottom, then I put my sleeping bag across the top and then I fold this over. So now I've got my 50 degree bag plus this blanket around me. That helps. But there's more. I 
cannot stress to you the importance of good socks. These are mine. They are great for me. We don't even, when we go camping, we like leave these on our beds. We will swap out during the day when it's time to get up and go places. And when it's time to come in and get ready for bed and we get dressed and get in our pajamas and things like that, we put these socks on. Now, obviously you may wanna, if you're going hiking and being out there in the cold, you may wanna have a pair that you wear all the time. But I have a full set for the whole family that stay in the tent and everybody puts these on when they go to bed at night. So that way now when they're getting into their warm sleeping bags, their feet are extra warm. And these are Tanya's. And I forget the name of the brand. I'll have to look these up and put them in the comment section down below as to what they are. But these things are rated to keep you very warm. In fact, downright give her hot feet. So you combine your warm sleeping bag, an extra blanket. Now you add in your thermal socks even have little options like this they have them for the feet and they have them for your hands they have a chemical reaction inside of them takes 15 to 30 minutes to warm up so you add something like this up to 10 hours of heat uh, I we always take this with us when we're camping we haven't had to use them yet because of what I'm getting to over here but it's great definitely an emergency situation so if our heater fails we could uh, go to these things as an emergency and make sure that we're keeping our extremities warm our phalanges this is the portable buddy from mr. heater this is the single one they actually have one that has two of these you can hook a single propane tank up right there the little green can one pound cans you can put in there you can screw them in and then it goes down in place and you can run off of that don't do that i mean if you want to do that as you're getting into the sleeping bag you change and close things like that to warm up the tent and then if you're going to shut it off and then turn it on again in the morning as you're waking up and getting ready that's fine if you're going to run this heater all night long don't bother with that can. I know from experience, 2.30 in the morning, shivering, swapping out the cans for another can. It got me about three hours set to low. And it did well while it was going, but that changeover uh, was horrible. So, these, this heater is great, don't get me wrong. And there's going to be a lot of questions you're going to come up with and i've done a lot of research because i was worried when you switch out the can in the tent in the middle of the night you will get a propane smell inside your tent that's going to be one of the first things that bother you it's okay now when you're running this thing in your tent you have to keep about 18 inches of window like the zipper window open because what happens is if this thing runs out of oxygen to burn it will shut off this whole front plate here catches on fire. Now a lot of people online wonder if these things are safe to be used inside. Their thoughts are carbon dioxide? Monoxide. Which is the one you use the tester for? I can't remember. At any rate, there is another video that I've watched where the guy went through extensive testing. He left it in his RV tried all different kinds of things and he could not get any readings on the tester stating that it is safe he was worried about his tester whether it was working or not so he held it down by his exhaust pipe of his truck when he cranked it on and then that thing went Vroom! the sensor went nuts because it detected the poison in, in the air he's like okay sensor works the mr heater does not give you a problem the best way to use this thing is to get an official Mr. Heater propane gas hose. And they have different lengths. I believe I've got the 10 foot. Now what I do, we now bring a 20 pound propane tank with us. That hooks in right there. And then instead of putting a can, this hose in here. 
Once you get it in there, you lock it down in place. So what I do is I leave this can outside of the tent. I run the hose through the door of the tent so that I put the zipper down about that big. And then we set the heater right by the door, kind of blocking the door. We've had no problems getting around it. But that way, the way that we set it, it's away from the walls, away from blankets, away from pillows that could fall off of cots, things like that, so that nothing gets in there. Obviously, it's got the safety, the bars here to keep anything from getting in there. And then we run it on low all night. We've got the big 10 by 14 Coleman instant up tent. And we run this thing at low. And if it's about 30 degrees outside, I would say inside the tent, we've got it probably about 60. I mean, it, it's chilly, but at the same time, it's we're pretty comfortable. When it gets warmer, like 40, we've had plenty of nights where we're, everybody's out of their blankets. We got the heater on, nobody can sleep with the blankets on because we're actually warm. It has been just absolutely terrific. So if you're going camping in the winter time and you wanna stay warm all night long, the hose, the heater and the gas tank together make an awesome combination to get this done. The 20 pound tank we have yet to run out. We've used it several times. Uh, it's also been nice the next morning at breakfast. What we'll do is we'll take this out and bring it over by the, the table, the picnic table, maybe put it next to where people are sitting down or underneath the table by their feet. Now to talk about the hose for a moment, the reason I said get the Mr. Heater brand hose, the generic or other brands, they put a type of an oil inside of the rubber that helps the rubber hose to be more flexible for a longer period of time. Over time, what happens is those oils kind of leach out of the hose and they'll go into the line with the propane and they will eventually build up at the bottom of this heater and it will permanently ruin the heater. The heater costs 70 to $80. The hose is about 20. So they say the recommended way to take care of this, and this is from uh, Mr. Heater, the brand. They recommend about every two years buying a new hose. And if you do that, rather than buying the other brands, your heater should last a lot longer. We'd really like to thank y'all for watching Texas Family Camping. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel. We come out with two videos a week. Can be anything from something to do in the RV, something to do in a tent, or a destination of places that we've gone to utilizing camping to get there. That is all part of camping. A lot of people out there have different opinions about what camping means to them. Don't worry about other people. What does camping mean to you? Happy camping, y'all.